Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the rumoured Martin Guitars for 2023. So Martin Guitar haven't formally announced any new models as yet, but the forums are lighting up with rumours of a video that was circulating of some new models that are coming probably very soon. So I want to talk about this because it's very interesting. Now, I've always said that this year is going to be more about affordable options, and it seems to be what Martin are doing. So it looks like, and this is all speculative right now, none of this is based on uh, facts, so a lot of this is just my opinions and based on what I've heard and read online. It looks like there's going to be additions to the standard series models. The standard series models, like a lot of other instruments and products, have gone up in price. So this seems to be a way to get kind of standard series instruments in the lineup but a slightly reduced price and the way they seem to be doing that is by using a satin finish now there's been several models in the past that have had a satin finish and that has indeed lowered the price now how do you feel about a satin finish martin let me know in the comments below my personal thought is i like the gloss finish and i also feel like the satin finish can pick up more body noise if you're strumming and recording or using some kind of pickup system but on the other hand i've been told by some pickup manufacturers that actually satin finish guitars amplify better as someone who likes traditional martins i think i prefer the idea of the gloss but there's certainly a way to bring down the cost slightly of that guitar again i don't know the prices yet or any of these details but this seems like a good idea so just a slightly lower end of the standard series and yet there's going to be some differences as well and this is the controversial one for many people some of these models, I don't know if all of them, or some of them are going to have an aged, distressed look. I'm not going to say relict, but that's basically what they're doing. So obviously the word relic lights up the internet with different thoughts and emotions. For myself, I love the look of a brand new Martin straight from the case. I think they look great. I also love vintage Martins. I do have a aged, authentic Martin. I do think it adds something to it, but I can also see why people don't like it. But I'm sure that Martin have done their research and these guitars with a distressed look are selling. And that's why they're bringing that into this range as well. And also to differentiate it between the standard series. So I will admit, when I first heard they're going to distress this guitar and age it by using a printer, I was concerned. I'll show you some pictures on the screen as we go to highlight what I'm talking about. It actually looks fine in this picture, but let me show you something that should alleviate those fears. So last year, Martin released the Rich Robinson model. And this is the first time that they took a guitar and they didn't just age the guitar to be similar to the original guitar they based it on. They actually took a digital photograph of that original guitar and printed it onto the guitar. So this isn't like a sticker. This is printing onto the wood. The printer is called a Mamaki printer. They print onto the wood. And you've seen them do this with many guitars over the last several years. But this time, with the Rich Robinson, they did it in order to give it the same look as the original guitar. Now I can prove this to you. If we jump over to sweetwater.com and look at the Rich Robinson, you can see that they currently have three of these guitars and they all have exactly the same top. They don't look at the pick guard, obviously they're different, but the wood, the actual top of the wood, they all look exactly the same because those tops are printed. And here's the thing, here's the reason why we shouldn't be worried about this. No one on any review has said that these look bad. I haven't seen these in person. If you have, let me know in the comments below. But all the reviews say these are excellent reproductions of this original guitar. No one has said that it looks off or weird. So if they're using the exact same technique on these standard series models, they could look fantastic. And I think that's really cool. If the price is down a bit and they look aged and unique and have that satin finish, and again, I don't know which ones will have which yet, but I just wanted to put this out there because I just realized this last night and I feel like my initial thoughts, if I'd known this, would have been very different. So if they're up to the quality of the Rich Robinson, which they won't be because the Rich Robinson is a custom shop high-end instrument, but if they are, then I think this would be a really good lineup and I'm looking forward to seeing them in person. One of the tops that they're using is this one on the screen and that top is actually the same top as this guitar. What guitar is this? This is the Kurt Cobain from the museum. So they've actually photographed with a very high quality camera, very high resolution, photographed the top of the Kurt Cobain D18, and they're printing that into the wood of these new guitars. So you can basically get a guitar that resembles the Kurt Cobain D18. I think that's cool. I like this. My first thought was, 
I don't like it. I'm worried. This sounds kind of wacky. And the more I think about it, the more research I've done, the more I think this could be a really cool concept. And it won't be for everyone, but that's why the standard series will still remain the standard series. And they are some of my favorite acoustic guitars ever. I believe the Martin standard series are just excellent. But it's great that they also have the vintage series, you know, the aged authentics. They have this new series. They have the modern SC guitars. It's great that they've expanded the line and people are looking for new models. And of course, as Paul Reed Smith says, if you don't release new products every year, you die. And I believe that must be true. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Once I have more information on these, I will do a more in-depth discussion and also give you the full specs and everything. But I think this is really exciting and I want to cover it on the channel. If you're new here and like all things acoustic guitars and electric guitars, please subscribe and ring the bell. And let me know what you think of these in the comments below. What are your initial thoughts, especially now you've heard the information that I've given you and are you interested in purchasing or trying one of these guitars? I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.